All right, welcome back uh, for ArcGIS.com, uh, ArcGIS Online editing uh, discussion. Uh, as I showed you in the last one, we essentially create map notes to create empty feature class. A couple of points that I do want to make again about that before we go too far forward. Um, you've made colleges, streams, and ponds. Um, there isn't, in this sense, uh, again, in a normal uh, GIS environment, you'd be creating attribute fields. Uh, in this case, we, we really can't do that in the same way. Um, once you have a layer file, we can add attributes to the layer file. Uh, but in this environment, you work very basically. The other thing that you don't do in map notes is define a coordinate system. Everything that you're doing in ArcGIS.com, uh, if you're creating map notes, is created using that Web Mercator WGS84, uh, essentially this kind of geographic coordinate system. So we don't have to really worry about that. Um, but what we're going to do next is we're going to begin a very basic idea. Um, in most environments, we want to be able to add points, move points, and delete points. Now, a very important idea with this is also the idea of snapping. And it is possible to do some level of snapping in ArcGIS.com, but it's somewhat limited. And so in this exercise, um, what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing all of these things in one very brief video because editing in Arc Online is very simple. So what I, we're going to end up doing in this case is we're going to zoom in to the area around Grove City and Slippery Rock. We're going to add a couple of features, Grove City College and Slippery Rock University. We're then going to add to the counties, um, uh, or I'm sorry, adding to the hospitals, we're actually going to edit an existing point feature class, and we're going to add a couple of points to that, and then we're going to delete something as well. So those are the things that we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm going to walk through them with you fairly quickly, and then we'll move on to dealing with lines. Now, again, I want to point out uh, this idea of the... Um, the, the points, two points on that southern edge. One of the things, again, in a digitizing mode or an editing mode is you want to be able to make things co-occurrent. And so this is where the snapping that we talked about before spring break comes in. Our snapping tolerance in Arc Pro, or I'm sorry, ArcGIS.com is possible, but it's a little bit kind of funny to deal with. So you'll see that. All right, so here we are. We're back in our ArcGIS.com. And the first thing we want to do is we want to deal with our area right here. So I'm going to zoom in. And what our first task was, was to deal with this question of adding the two colleges uh, to our colleges, um, in this sense, a map node. In this case, it happens to be a layer. And so that's what we want to do here. And again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and so that we can see our two areas here. Now, I can do this a couple of different ways, and I'm actually going to show you uh, how this works. And so in the edit, one of the things that I can do, you'll notice that I've got all of these tools here. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to select this point, okay? And so that's the point that I've selected. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to delete that one because I don't want it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to add features. So I'm going to go down here to my colleges and I'm going to select push pin. And let me zoom in actually a little bit more so I can see where we are. There we are. So I'm going to click on Slippery Rock University. And I'm going to say that's my point and I'm going to now, this is an important idea. In ArcGIS.com, this is a, our title is actually going to be its name, and so we're going to call this Slippery Rock University, and we're going to say close, and now I'm going to move over a little bit, and here, right about there, let's zoom in a little ways, and there is Grove City College, and again, I'm going to go to my college's points, and I'm going to select push pin again, and I'm going to put that in, and again, I'm going to call that city and there we are we're going to close it now this is our add feature options if I go down here to my hospitals you'll notice that I can add a new feature or if I look at the hospitals what I can also do in my edit mode okay so I'm in edit 
And if I select this one, I can now click Edit. And what I could do, <clears throat> this is all my information about it. What I am very limited in terms of my options here are I can delete this point, but it's not really effective in terms of moving it. So really what we have to do in a, uh, an ARC Online environment is we either add or we delete. The moving is really, is really essentially uh, almost impossible to do. And so what I'm going to do here is this is the one that I want. I'm going to select it. And then you'll notice that at the bottom I can delete it. And so that point is gone. Now, the other thing that I do want to do, though, is it within my hospitals, and I'm going to kind of zoom out here. And so again, now we've added two points. Um, I could add back into that, and I'm going to do that in just a minute. But what, I, okay, so now what we want to be able to do is add two features, and what we want them to be able to do is be co-occurrent with the southern edge of Butler County. And so what that means is I really want something, if I want to add hospitals, and again, I could add anything, I want to be able to put those points exactly on this line. And so the way that we do that is we go, in, again, into our editing mode, and I'm going to select our hospitals, and I'm going to go to this, the new feature, and I'm going to click that, and you'll notice that it gets highlighted there. Now, when I move on to here, what's going to happen if I hold down, you'll notice that it says, it literally tells me, hold down the control key. When I do that, and I move it down to here, you'll notice that that little uh, cross appears, and that tells me that I'm exactly on the line. And you'll notice that actually, even as I move, it kind of stays there when my control is on. And so I've selected Butler County, and now I'm going to click, and there's a point, and we don't need to name it anything. Down, and we're going to close. Now I'm going to do that again. New feature. Okay, I'm going to go back into this, and you lose my points there. And I'm going to go into my all the way down here to hospitals. Grab it again. Come over here, and again I'm going to hold down the control key. You notice, and there's that little blue line again. And I'm going to click. And now we have a second one. I'm going to put in a number, another number here, and save. And now I have those two points. Now, so in a sense, I've deleted, I've added, and now I've added by snapping to another feature. So that's editing point features in ArcGIS.com. We'll be back to deal with lines in the next.